Hello, ladies and gents. That was uh, kind of a situation there. Na, na spoil na yung guest ko for now. But again, welcome to our Facebook Live session. Medyo kabado ako ngayon. Eh. You know, just uh, you know who I'm gonna talk to in a bit. But I did tell you that I'm going to go live again, and here I am. Welcome back. My name is Nick, of course, of 96.3 Easy Rock, and today we're gonna have a bit of a chat, of course, with. The Filipino, I would say the, okay, I would change this, the Filipino prima ballerina, the artistic director and CEO of Ballet Manila, and also the founder of Project Ballet Futures, an institution allowing scholarship initiative that offers training and performance opportunities to public school students who wish to pursue a career in ballet. Ladies and gents, please welcome Mrs. Lisa Makuha Elizalde. Good evening, DJ Nick. Good Thank you for day, having yeah. me in your program. Oh, I am so happy that you're here. And, you know, we did correct the textbooks. Uh -huh. And we were just talking about this. I also did pronounce it as Lisa. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to be Lisa with an S. Lisa with an okay. S. Yes. <laughs> now that there's social media, of course, we can easily correct the errors of the past, you know? Thank you. Yeah. And may I just ask, how are you doing today? I'm good. good. Thank you so much yeah. for asking. Um, I'm actually seven weeks post operation oh, on my right shoulder. So I can't really move my right shoulder very much. But it's it's better now. It's better. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. But you're still active. You, you still dance, you know? Yes, I teach. I uh, choreograph. I direct. I don't dance yeah. anymore. Okay, I have okay. to correct you there. I right. don't dance uh, on stage anymore. Okay. If I dance, I dance for my students when I'm demonstrating a step uh, or a combination. And, uh, well, I dance for my own enjoyment yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I retired from the stage um, when I was 52 and next week I'm turning 58 really yes it doesn't look like you're 58 well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really flattering you but it really tr is true and I think it's important that we keep our bodies moving especially during the pandemic yeah. so how was that for you well, you know, when uh, we had to lock down, there were no live performances. Yeah. What we really were able to, ve to develop was my school, my right. ballet school. Yeah. The Lisa Makua School of Ballet went 100% online. Right. We did seven online recitals. We wow. had students logging in from Europe and from the United States and from wow. Taiwan, Indonesia, Malaysia, and, and of course, the other provinces around the Philippines. Wow. Um, so we had about about uh, 500 students um, That's a lot. Uh, in, in the school online yeah. and then uh, we did ballet films, ballet mini films wow. so that's all also online on our website um, and uh, on our YouTube channel, Ballet yeah. Manila's YouTube channel and uh, we also did a Silver Linings Gala and now we're finally going to go on stage in our first public performance back home in our home theater Aleuthia. Oh, that's great you know the newly renovated i would say it's very fresh the alu theater i'm so excited to be there as well <laughs> and i did voice the plug so i'm pretty sure our viewers uh, have actually heard about it mm -hmm. so i'm talking about rise Rise. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, there you go. All right, so can you tell us more, Miss Lisa, about about your upcoming performance? Okay, yeah. Rise is because we want the concert to be full of hope. It's supposed yeah. to be um, a beginning, you know, a new beginning, rising from the ashes like a phoenix. Right. Uh, it is my birthday next week, and my birthday oh. is a little tinged with sadness because it's, you know, October 2 in 2019 was that big fire yeah. that raised uh, Star Theater to the ground and really damaged the theater and, of course, Star City. Right. Um, so, uh, finally, three years later, uh, we are going to be able to continue with the tradition yeah. of putting on a big birthday celebration, big performance on stage with Rice. Wow. It's a combination of opera, yeah. ballet, it's a pop concert as well. There's going to be OPM music, there's going to be classical music, there's going to be um, a 60-piece orchestra, yeah. live music. It's like it has everything wow. um, on that stage. And I just wanted to show with Rice not just how 
much, of course, we want the performing arts, all aspects of the performing arts to come back and rise back after the lockdowns of the pandemic, but also to show how versatile yeah. and how much more hardworking a Leo Theater is oh, wow. as a venue. I'm sure you put so much heart and energy into it, you know, coming from, you know, from what happened with Star City and also with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Would you say that this is like your your emotionally creative outlet? <laughs> oh, well, yes, of course. Uh, you know, this this morning when we yeah. did the press conference and Between Escalante sang live uh, it was a song again also about the performing oh. artists okay. in, during the pandemic and she was saying yeah. um uh, mm. ng malalim and uh, aawit ka muli and oh. i was like in babangon ka muli and sasayaw ka muli and i started crying because yeah. <laughs> yeah. it is a very eh, mahirap mawalan ng entablado it's very hard to lose the stage and right. it was easier for me because I was already retired I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was very very difficult for all the ballet the, the all the artists that are at the peak of their career yeah. or just beginning their careers yeah. you know um, for me I was already retired I was just trying to save the company yeah. um, try to trying to think of all the new ways that we could still keep the creative juices yeah. flowing and still keep on creating, keep on performing, keep on practicing. Because it's very easy to lose the, the skill. Right. You know, right. You, you stop for three days and you lose a lot of muscle strength and dexterity and, wow. and uh, flexibility. Yeah. So it's really... And you, we had to stop for two and a half years. That's true. Mm -hmm. so, and so much has been taken away. Yes. By, by, by the pandemic, especially for, as you said, for the performers. Yes, and especially for ballet dancers right. with very short careers, that is, as it is. That's true. And you, you have a very short career. You're working with your body, which is your instrument. And every year that passes, yeah. you know, you lose uh, a lot. Yeah. So I, it was ma masakit. Yeah. Masakit talaga. That's why Rise is all of that. It's it's a It's a... It's a trumpet of hope. Right, right. <laughs> and I, I know like you did your best during the pandemic to like really hold online classes, but it's I'm sure it's not the same. Of course it's not the same. You know, being same. in the class I'm like physically, but in a way like you were able to reach out to different dancers all over the world, which yes. which was good. Mm -hmm. So are they also part of the of Rise? Uh Would no, it's students? this okay. is one hundred percent live. So oh, we're yeah. not doing any online broadcasting. Okay. It's going to be 100% live. Um, I do still have my recitals online and face-to-face. -face. We've had a, a first ballet recital face-to-face, -face, right. but we still continue with the online uh, training because we don't want to abandon the, the kids that are taking classes um, online. Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about the kids so much. Again, yes. you know, much has been taken away from yes. kids. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, especially when you said that uh, you, you tend to lose a lot of muscle strength and the techniques, of course, yes. you know, when, when you're not really taking your classes. Mm -hmm. But you did all the choreography for Rise. Um, I did uh, La Traviata, which is the second half of the show. Mm -hmm. And I did, I choreographed a little piece to the uh, music of Be My Lady. Um, yeah. And I'm very proud of that um, little choreographic miniature because it's Be My Lady. Mm -hmm. You know, we all know the lyrics yeah. to Be My Lady. Yeah. And uh, uh, instead of having a regular, you know, romantic couple dancing there, I had all the different ballerina classical ballerina role. So, you know, you have the white swan dancing with her prince. You have Princess Aurora dancing yeah. with Prince Desiree. You have Giselle dancing with Albrecht. Kitri dancing with Basilio. Um, so all of these big classical ballerina roles dancing with their princess right. um, instead. And I... I, I'm I'm really... You know you know what? I've, I'm, I'm so happy that um, my artists are going to be able to once again, feel the energy of a live audience That's right. and be able to dance yeah. and do a curtain call to live applause. Oh, yeah. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like the live applause. Yes. You know, after <laughs> all the hard work yeah. you know, yeah. they put and in And, you know, it. to, to um, develop the stamina yeah. and strength and the skill and the nerves right. to be able to go on stage knowing that there's no take two. 
You know, there's no cut, take two. There's no time to rest yeah. in between yeah. uh, because it's not, we're not filming this time. Uh, you're performing to a live audience. So, so iba talaga ang live. Yeah, as it is. Mm-mm. As it is. Yes. All right, so Miss Lisa, um, I know you're so excited. You've shared so much already. <laughs> now, we don't want to spoil anything, you know? Uh-huh. But, but we kind of <laughs> heard about La Taviata and, of course, the performance. But... What should our viewers look forward to? And of course, how can they and when can they watch Rise? Well, I think uh, the performing arts, you know, any uh, performance on stage, we're telling a story. Yeah. And uh, as ballet dancers, especially in La Traviata, we're telling the story without saying a single word. You know, it's all with the choreography, with the music. They have. They can really look forward to the music yeah. it's a variety and it's all really beautiful the music of Giuseppe Verdi um, we have OPM we have uh, songs in English and Filipino and of mm-hmm. course the live orchestra yeah. and the live singing everything is live so that you, you can really look forward to that and you know for tickets you go online uh, at uh, www.ticketworld.com.ph or you can call 8-891-9999 uh, tickets are available on Ticket World already now please yeah. get your tickets we go only ahead. have two performances of live so oh. we only have uh, about 2,000 tickets to sell. Okay. So please get your tickets as early as possible because usually and then na, last minute oh, and then na uubusan. Na. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. It's really easier now with, with, with social media and everything. Once again, ladies and gents, Rise is happening next month. Right, Miss Lisa? Yes, yeah. uh, October 7 and 9 All in right. Alio Theater. O- yeah. October 7 at 8 p.m. and October 9 at 5 p.m. Right, but as she said, we don't have to be procrastinate. Just get your tickets. So actually, we're already in the last week of September. So it, it's been an honor talking to you, Miss Lisa Makuha Elizalde, ladies and gents. Thank you so much. I've, I was also very um, particular about my posture, I think, all throughout the live. We're kind of straight body. Tayo. So to all our viewers, thank you so much for being with us tonight and we'll see you again very soon thank you so much miss lisa macuela zalde thank you dj Nick.